pamp and all pamp and all pamp and pamp pamp and says pamp and all. Speed Society to me is the largest social media platform in existence for car guys and girls. After the Whipple, I left it to Vengeance Racing because it's their VR1000. So it's they've done these builds. It's a 2018 ZL1. They do this stuff all the time. It's their build. And other than the high cap fuel pump and the injectors and then the whole fuel system from Lingenfelter, it really is one of their standard builds that you guys can get. Now that we have the engine back in and all the stock accessories are bolted back on, we can really start to do the fun stuff and throw a little style in it as well. We have the Whipple 2.9, which is finished in that beautiful gloss red. And to go along with that, we have our custom Vengeance Racing engraved billet valve covers, which are paint matched to the Whipple. So what we're waiting on is a lash cap for the fuel pump lifter and that is stopping us from doing the valley cover, the injectors, and pretty much anything that's on top of the engine. So the goal for today is to get the coil relocation kit in, all the accessories on the front of the motor, and the heat exchanger system. Lingafelter Engineering has an all new direct injection high flow fuel pump that we've installed. This fuel system should allow us to produce upwards of 800 to 850 wheel horsepower without methanol, using flex fuel. And we're also putting an E85 or a flex fuel sensor on it. So that'll be nice for if you have gas in the car and you want to add E85, that sorts it out for you. You don't have to switch tunes or anything, so you can do it on the fly. We just put in a full day of work, working real hard. Now we're going to go over to K1 Speed and have a lot of fun. I'm not sure what to expect yet. Charlie's trying to keep it a surprise from me. We've been trying to keep this a secret all day from the guys, but we're going to K1 tonight. They have some new events that we haven't even tried yet, which is like glow karting, shifter karts, and they have drifter karts. Just for us. That's what I'd like to see. Uh, yeah, I like it. So K1 has introduced a new type of racing here at their tracks. Yep. It's drifting. You gotta be we got tires on the back that have no grip, all awesome. like drift tracks, and it's 100% drift. Let's do some racing. So Matt and I decided to go get some food for Barbecue Friday, and all of a sudden one of our buddies calls up. So he said, come on over and borrow my rig, check it out, take it down there for Barbecue Friday and have some fun. So Matt and Morgan decided to step outside their little box for once in their life, and I guess went out and borrowed a Polaris slingshot from a friend of theirs. I guess I, uh, did you really? No. Wow. We even surprised the hammer. He had no idea what we were doing. We pulled up and he was just blown away. It was freaking awesome. So these guys just picked up a slingshot. I was like, what? They bought a slingshot? That's sick. But uh, had no idea. Super surprised. On our way there, Matt's all, I wonder if it's going to be a convertible. And it was a convertible. <laughs> but it didn't have four wheels though. We all got to take a spin on this thing. I know we've all wanted to, to cruise around.
the little thing ripped. It was like a little go-kart or a K1 speed on the street. That's like as far down as you can wiggle it by hand. Yeah. And if we tear those seals, then we need even more special tools to get new seals on it. Yeah. Uh, trying to reach out to Lingen Felter just to make sure that we have the correct tools to install these injectors properly. The parts arrival this time around was turned out to be a pretty big issue. From Weapon X. The idea behind the heat exchangers is to pull the heat out of the air that the blower produces. Yeah, we're missing still the entire cook system. I've been working with Manny a little bit and uh, I have a package. I didn't tell anybody, I didn't tell Matt, I didn't tell Morgan, I didn't tell anyone. I've just been texting back and forth. I said, I need something for the shop, something cool. And Manny said he's sending a box and he sent a freaking box. We got a box of mad air horns. We got a box with a solid steel plate with horns bolted on it with air fittings that go into our normal compressor. So now I got to figure out how to make this thing work. It's special. They sent this to us already rigged. Oh yeah, that's the mother load right there. It doesn't go in a car. It's just for us. We're gonna put it's on with gas or something. So these vengeance guys, you know, they're pros. They take their job seriously. They always work their asses off. We thought we'd try to shake their game up a little bit and set these horns off on them. Now I've got this remote and we can set it up. One person can plug it in and I mean, it's wireless. So you just hit the button. Bomb. I myself do not approve of that air horn. Um, especially when we're working during the day and yeah, it gets kind of annoying, honestly. <laughs> Oh, I made a bunch of people jump. <laughs> I, I keep on going like, oh, I think something's gonna happen here. <laughs> Somebody needs to take the remote away from them because we're over here in the corner trying to work and this thing just all day, it's constantly in your ear, so. But it's pretty funny when, when it gets people. Just had to run up to O'Reilly. <laughs> Didn't even work, but. <laughs> <laughs> DSX sent us one of their lower rings that will bolt onto our ATI damper, and that is a larger diameter than stock. And what that does is spin the blower faster, and that makes more boost. Cooks finally arrived today. All right, we got our last piece to the exhaust puzzle. And that was really the last big piece that we had. That's a huge relief. We don't have to worry about that anymore. It's really a simple installation, all the way from the headers, all the way out to the tips. We got their full stainless system, two inch primaries, connection pipes, mufflers, tips. They have everything you need in the box. It's literally a bolt-on installation. Okay, so we just got the exhaust system buttoned up. We got the Cook's connection pipes on, as well as their mufflers and tips, their full system. Uh, everything's snugged down, tips are lined up, and exhaust is finished. That was interesting. There's a, there's a learning curve to it, but it's uh, way less sketchy than Speed Society's drift trucks, I can tell you that much. It was my first time I'd ever been on a K1 cart. Uh, I got faster, and I got better at the drifting as it went on. But really, the drifting, I put down a decent lap and I just started hucking it for the camera, so. <laughs> and now we're gonna go glow karting, apparently. Sounds fun to me. Let's it's gonna do be, it. It's gonna be like a rave with go karts. Hit the lights! Wrong. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, winner again. So after a full day of work, no better way to celebrate is we get to go out, we get to show these guys, the Vengeance guys, a great night on the town, get to give them a little taste of what San Diego is all about. So whether we're going to get good food or out for some drinks, we're always going to try and make it the most fun we can have. And 
hopefully these guys enjoy it. It's been hard to keep up, man. I, I just want to go home and go to bed at this point. So if I make it, hey, Ron, if I make it, does he have then I'll pay for anything. Tonight we're going to take Vengeance to Society down at PB in San Diego. We're going to have some drinks and have a good time. Super cool guy, uh, known for throwing flames with his mouth, and we'll probably shoot some pool and, and have a fun evening together. It gets a little crazy when the Vengeance guys come out, and I think I may have overdone it last night. What are you doing, dude? How are you doing? I just got the worst wake up call of all time. These guys come barreling in with nitrous and air horns, and I have a pounding headache from last night. Thanks, guys. We brought a modified valley cover, and that won't work with their high pressure fuel pumps that they sent us. So now we have to modify this one. We have this little weld that needed to be done, but. Uh, why not call the best when you know them? So we called up Eric Anderson. He's one of the best in the industry. How are you? Yeah. Thank you, bro. Absolutely saved our ass real quick. Number one. Anyways, we had a really great time. We're all gonna come in with T-Rex arms tomorrow, I'm sure. Uh, it's pretty brutal out there, doing uh, multiple laps, but it was, uh, it was a good time. Uh, a lot of lessons learned tonight. Uh, a lot of bruises in the upper rib cage from the uh, seat belts. Everybody's gonna be sore tomorrow is all I have to say because we went pretty hard. K1's done, that was insane. We appreciate you guys so much. Natalie, Sammy. Thank you guys for all coming here. I hope you guys had a great time tonight. K1 Speed, it was a huge success, so much fun. The guys kicked butt. So the Supercharger is a Gen 4 Whipple. It's not even out. It won't even be available to the public till January. It has a lot of updated parts for more efficiency and better cooling. So it'll be interesting to see what it does with the application. Right here you have a GM LT4 1.7 liter supercharger system against the Whipple 2.9 liter supercharger system. Air enters through the throttle body, comes through the rotor pack and the, they're known as twin screw rotors. The air is compressed here and then distributed within that lid that we just removed and then pushed down through these intercooler bricks into the intake runners. And that's where your power comes from. If you'll notice the size of these intercooler bricks on each side versus the massive size of these Whipple bricks, this is how we have such a big supercharger that makes huge power, but also keeps inlet temps in line, keeps for a happy engine and great tunability and ultimate performance. We are swapping over parts from the old supercharger onto the Whipple. And in order to install this, we have to take the brakes off, the little coolant crossover tube in order to get to the bolts to actually bolt it down. So, tearing it apart right now.
The blower powder coated red is amazing, but then when you add it with the Rev Vengeance valve covers, it's insane. From an aesthetic perspective, we provided our valve covers uh, from Moroso to match the new Whipple unit. It's, it has a lot of shock value, I would say. Most of the time when you look in an engine bay, it's black, gray, kind of boring, but we have a beautiful gloss red supercharger that almost sticks out the hood. Next time on Beyond the Build. Like, dude, Amber just got in a fucking wreck. I wish it was planned that I went up against my wife, but it absolutely wasn't.